The Guild Wars 2 players are privileged to experience one of the most impressive mount system ever implemented in a MMO game. There are just 9 mounts in this game, but each one has uh, distinct special abilities. Among them, the Sky Scale is the one that every Guild Wars 2 player aspire to acquire above all others. Currently, there are only two methods to acquire this majestic creature. The first and original method involves a completing series of achievements within the Living World Season 4. This method is known to be somewhat challenging and time consuming. The second option for obtaining the Sky Scale, which we'll explore in this video, was introduced with the latest expansion. Secrets of the Obscure providing a much quicker and easier way. Surprisingly, it only took me about 2 hours to fulfill all the necessary achievements and I accomplished this with a character without 100% map completion. By the way, if you are new to this channel, my name is Tankio, a Guild Wars 2 content creator and in the next few minutes I will guide you through a Secrets of the Obscure achievement called A New Friend and assist you in obtaining your sky scale as quickly as possible. Before we delve into the sky scale guide, there are a few requirements you should keep in mind. The first and the most obvious one is that you need to have the secrets of the obscure expansion. Next, you need two different combination of mats and currencies. They are necessary for the completion of two distinct sub achievements. The first set consists of 15 gold, 12 charged quartz crystals, 24 slabs of red meat, 60 globes of ectoplasm and 300 piles of bloodstone dust. While obtaining most of these materials is straightforward, acquiring the 12 charged quartz crystals may pose a challenge since they are time gated and you can craft only one per day by combining 25 quartz crystals at a power place. The second set consists of 30 provisional tokens, which are the trickiest currency in this set. While we progress through the video, I will provide you with more tips how you can get them. Then you need 375 pinches of stardust obtained by completing events in Amnitas. 375 static charges, these are obtained from events in Skywatch Archipelago and 500 essences of despair earned by completing tier 1 rift events. The final requirement is to train the who rescue who mastery from the flying training mastery line. This mastery unlocks the achievement uh, a new friend which upon complete completion will reward you with the sky scale. Now let's begin with the first step, which is to locate an abandoned Skyscale egg by searching abandoned Skyscale nets scattered throughout the Skywatch archipelago and Amnitas. Oh my god, too much sky in one sentence. Here is the map with all known locations of the nests and keep in mind that the egg drop is random and it may take a while until you find it. Once you have obtained the egg, make your way to the Beacon of Ages waypoint and speak with the Skyscale trainer Diane to unlock the next three sub-collections Skyscale Egg Infusions, Skyscale Growing Comforts and Skyscale Saddle Materials. The second step uh, involves completing the Skyscale Egg Infusions uh, sub-achievement. For the task, you need to travel around Tyria and fulfill various easy objectives to obtain 12 different items. To make the things much easier for you, I will include in the video description the names of all required items along with the nearest waypoint name and code. This way, you can simply copy and paste the waypoint code into the Guild Wars 2 chat box and port there. After that, all you need to do to get the required item is to follow my instructions. And yes, these are the types of quality service that I'm trying to provide here. So if you didn't do it yet, uh, don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So let's begin with the sky scale of water. Take the castable waypoint, then swim down from the waypoint into the tunnel and interact with the concentration of magic. Next is the sky scale of fire. Take the junkers waypoint, then head to the greater imperial smelter and jump into the lava. 
for the sky skill of ice take the sorrows eclipse waypoint then run into a roaming ice storm near the waypoint and get in case in ice if you don't have living world season 3 you can complete this objective during the defeat of claw of jarmak event in frost gorge sound for the sky skill of earth take the prosperity waypoint and jump in the nearby quicksands to acquire the sky skill of air you have to interact with the cluster of wind in the hidden garden jumping puzzle located in mount maelstrom map to enter in the hidden garden first you have to defeat one of the four keepers earth light waves or wind here is the map with their spawning locations for the sky scale of life you have to revive 20 allies you can work on this one simultaneously with the sky scale of blood which will require from you to kill 100 enemies within the blood hill camps in Jandaran fields south of blood hill you can revive the seraphs at nivo terrace while you're waiting the enemies at blood hill to respawn to get the sky scale of growth take the caledon waypoint head a bit south and then jump over the wall using your springer or griffin mount and interact with the garden patch near the garden root tunnel to acquire the sky scale of that you must take the murder dreams waypoint head west from the waypoint until you get in front the hero point then interact with the casket on your right hand side for the sky skill of spirit take the dew cloud waypoint head north and interact with the hero point within the cauldron of searing next you have to attack the chickens in the farm south of fallen angels garrison waypoint until angry chickens appear to get the sky scale of fear appear fear there is even a rhyme oh my god i should become a rapper yeah by the way, you'll get this achievement when your character receives damage from the angry chickens. To get the sky skill of courage, you have to defeat four world bosses. You can always check uh, some of the many existing event timers to see what world boss comes next. After you complete this part, take again the beacon of ages waypoint. Talk to sky skill trainer Diane to complete the sky skill egg infusion sub achievement. The third step will be to complete the sky scale growing comforts collection. In this sub achievement you have to collect food, treats and toys to raise your sky scale. To get the first item sky scale treat you have to bring 12 pieces of sky scale food to Diane. By the way you can buy the food directly from her using the first set of materials that I mentioned earlier in this video. Alternatively you can purchase the 12 pieces of sky scale food from the trading post but for me this will be pure waste of hard earned gold. To get the second item tasty cryptis skin you have to defeat a cryptis and again the drop chance is random and the champions will have higher chance to drop this treat. Then you have to defeat uh, Jotun to obtain tasty trail ration. You'll find some Jotun chilling uh, next to the white expanse uh, waypoint in Dredgehound cliffs. To get the tasty devourer carapace, of course you have to hunt devourers. You can find some north of Firitas waypoint in plains of Ashford. Next you need tasty chuck legs. This one is easy, you can find plenty of chuck to hunt all around the tangled depths. Tasty moss covered bark you get from trends. There is a nice place in Queensdale called Great Heart Will, where you can hunt veteran oak hearts and get this item. To get the tasty worm segment, you have to defeat worms. Take again Ferita's waypoint, head north and close to the place where you were hunt hunting devourers. You will find plenty of worms. Next you have to defeat oozes to get the tasty ooze cured meat. You can find plenty of them in the pipe near the Beetleton Waterworks point of interest in Queensdale. Forged ankle joint of course you get from Forge. To hunt them I was using the area north of Destiny's Gorge waypoint in the Crystal Oasis. 
The next three items you have to purchase, the first one, Bird Whistle, you buy from Gortoson of Malik, near Gladefall Run in the Iron Marches. I experienced more problem with Gorto, he was bugged and I couldn't interact with him. The way I solve it, I ask in the chat and I found a dude who is on the same map but in different instance. I joined him, ported into his instance and then I didn't have any problem to purchase the item. Next, the plush quagon you purchase for 10 golds from Sven Edison in the Wizard Tower. For the heavy duty Doliac blanket you pay 3 golds to the Herder Lyot near the Bouldermouth Vale in Loner's Pass. Once you have acquired all these items, uh, talk again to the Skyscale Trainer Diane to complete this sub achievement. In the fourth step you have to complete the Skyscale Saddle material sub achievement. For this task you have to purchase 10 different items uh, using the second set of currencies which is including also the provisioner tokens. These are earned by trading specific items to faction provisioners in various maps. They can be also earned from challenge mode raids. With them you can purchase items needed to make legendary armor, runes and sigils so it's not bad idea to start stockpiling them right away. Normally I am using the Ash Legion Provisioner in the Black Citadel to exchange one Obsidian Shard for one token. Also I am using the Scrit Trader in Lion's Arch to exchange one Mystic Forge Stone for one token. The faction provisioners across the Skywatch Archipelago and Amnitas will also offer you to exchange some of your materials for provisional tokens. By the way, these are the same vendors from which we will buy the necessary items to complete the Skyscale Sado materials collection. So let's not waste any more time and let's get this achievement done. For the first item take the Bastion of the Natural Waypoint and buy the Stardust Infused Letter from the Faction Provisioner there. Next go to the Bastion of the Obscure Waypoint and buy the Mist Infused Saddle Oil. For the next item take Castro's Vow Waypoint and purchase Jade Spun Silk Thread. The next vendor you have to visit is next to the Bastion of Strand Waypoint and from here you have to purchase durable saddle hardware. The rich Magman Mahogany you can purchase from the vendor next to the Rotten Novus Promenade Waypoint. Next take the Bastion of Balance Waypoint and from the vendor there purchase the saddle back of holding. Next go to the Dropner's Light Waypoint and the item you have to buy is the Eldrimor Rivets. Now you must take the well-known already beacon of ages waypoint, head south until you enter into the building and from the provisioner vendor there you must buy Garenhof with cloth. Next take the Astro Ward encampment waypoint, head west uh, to the village and from the provisioner vendor there buy the Elonian sandpaper. For the last required item go to the Bastion of Knowledge waypoint and from the vendor buy the extra sticky tar. Once you get all the required items to complete this collection, take the Beacon of Ages waypoint and talk again with Diane. The final step of obtaining your sky skill is to train the Rising Spirits Mastery. To accomplish this you need to max out the Flight Training Mastery track. Once you have done this, speak again with Diane and congratulations, you just got yourself a sky skill. By the way, one hour after. After the completion of this achievement you will unlock automatically another one called a new look which rewards a pretty nasty looking Crypti Skyscale skin. This will be the object of my next video guide. If you want to learn how to unlock the rest of the mounts click next on the video which will pop out on your screen. So ladies and gentlemen if you found the information in this video useful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome no matter if they are positive or negative and if you want to support my work even further and help the channel grow don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching have a great day and I will catch you in the next one.